little fox. At school. I like to say hello. I like to listen. I like to talk. I like to dance. Hickory dickory dock, the mouse ran up the... I like to sing. The mouse... I like to play. I like to eat. I like to say goodbye. At the beach. The sun is hot. The water is cold. My swim ring floats. My shoe sings. I throw the ball. I catch the ball. It is sunny. It is rainy. At the zoo. We go here. We go there. Animals are everywhere. We look at this. We look at that. There's so much to look at. <laughs> we hear these. We hear those. Those must be the hippos. The Blobs at the Gift Shop Here come the Blobs. What do they see? They see a gift shop. The blobs go inside. They get four t-shirts. They get four caps. They get four balloons. <laughs> 
they get four cups. They get four bags. But there are only three blobs. Look! They get a teddy bear. Blobs, what are you doing? Click. They take a picture. Silly blobs. Goodbye. At the circus. <laughs> Whose ball is this? This is his ball. Whose bike is this? This is her bike. Whose roller skates are these? These are his roller skates. Whose hula hoop is this? This is her hula hoop. Whose ring is this? This is his ring. Whose swords are these? These are her swords. Whose flowers are these? These are his flowers. Whose cannon is this? This is my cannon. At the lake. Lisa and Frank stood outside Grandpa's house. Mom, I want to bring my sketch pad and crayons. I'm going to draw a picture of the lake, said Lisa. I'm bringing my baseball and glove, said Frank. Grandpa said he's going to show me how to throw a curveball. Okay, but hurry. Dad is waiting, said Mom. Dad was waiting at the lake with the boat. Daddy, Daddy, I became a big girl today, shouted Lisa. A big girl? Really? asked Dad. Yes, I've got a loose tooth. See? Wow. Exclaimed Dad. You are a big girl. See, see, Daddy, my tooth is out! Shouted Lisa excitedly. She held up her tooth. What are you going to do with the tooth? Asked Dad. Tonight, I am going to put it under my pillow and make a wish, replied Lisa. Oh, I see, said Dad. What are you going to wish for? I don't know yet, said Lisa, frowning. I hadn't thought about it. Grandpa arrived with the life jackets. When you do know, warned Grandpa, you mustn't tell anyone. The Tooth Fairy only grants secret wishes. Oh, Daddy, I can't tell you my wish. It's a secret, said Lisa seriously. 
Are we going in the boat? asked Frank. Yes, said Dad. We are going to take the boat to the island. To the island? Are there pirates on the island? asked Lisa. No, said Grandpa. But a beautiful Native American princess once lived on the island. Really? asked Lisa. What was her name? Her name was Sanapi. The lake and the island are both named after her, answered Grandpa. Why did she live on the island? asked Frank. She lived on the island because the man she loved died, and she didn't want to marry any other man, said Grandpa. Oh, said Lisa. It must have been very lonely. No, not lonely at all, answered Grandpa. She was loved by all of the animals, especially the Eagle King. What happened to the princess? asked Frank. No one knows for sure, answered Grandpa. When everyone was in the boat, Grandpa told the story. The Eagle King loved the princess very much, and he protected her from all men. Many men tried to go to the island to marry the princess. But the Eagle King fought each of them. The Native Americans believe the princess married the Eagle King because he was like her lost love. Are there eagles on the island now? asked Lisa. Yes, many, answered Grandpa. Will we see an eagle? asked Frank. Yes, you will see eagles, said Grandpa. Lisa and Frank both wanted to see the eagles. Lisa was so excited that she forgot about the tooth she was holding. Oh no! cried Lisa. My tooth is gone. I dropped it and it fell into the lake. Now I have nothing to give to the tooth fairy. There will be other teeth, said Grandpa. Yes, but I had finally decided what I was going to wish for, whined Lisa. As long as you don't tell anyone your wish, the Tooth Fairy will grant it to you next time, said Grandma. Look, shouted Frank. Is that an eagle? <gasps> It's so high, said Lisa, forgetting about her lost tooth. Watch it closely, said Grandpa. The eagle flew close by, flapping its wings. Wow! shouted everyone. Eagles are so fast! exclaimed Frank. A feather! shouted Lisa. I caught a feather! Grandpa? asked Lisa. Do eagle feathers grow back? Yes, yes, they do. Said Grandpa slowly. They grow back, just like baby teeth. Do you think I can put this feather under my pillow and make a wish? asked Lisa. Hmm, said Grandpa. That's an excellent question, but I don't know the answer. I don't know if there's a feather fairy. I've never tried making a wish on a feather. Well, I'm going to make a wish on my eagle feather. Maybe Princess Sunapi will grant me my wish, said Lisa. Maybe she will, smiled Grandpa. If there is a tooth fairy, said Lisa, then there has to be a feather fairy. I'm sure that my wish will come true.